Leonardo AI Image to Image Text to Image Tutorial. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. And in today's video, we will be exploring Leonardo AI's ability to turn text to image and image to image. Now, we will be exploring this two feature, but we will first explore and focus on text to image because this is the most basic feature any AI image generator should have. Followed by how the image to image generator would work and showing you guys how that will function and how to use it as well. So first things first, the text to image. Now in Leonardo, it is also named image generator. As you can see here on their homepage, this is one of the many user tools. You have the image generator, which will generate art, illustration, and more with props or basically text. There's also real-time canvas where we will be able to create and transform our sketches into our art in real time. We also have canvas editor where we will be able to edit, refine, add details, remove unwanted elements, modify styles, and more. You have motion where we could turn our images into videos. And you also have here real-time generation which allows us for real-time generating while we type. So if you notice, there are two main features that actually utilizes text to image. We have the image generator and real-time generator. So we will be focusing on the image generation over here. And the image generation would look like this. As you can see, uh, this is the generation section where you can simply enter your prop into this section. If you want to enter negative prop, you can enable it just like that. Over here on the left side, this is where you will be able to see your different settings such as number of images and like photoreal, alchemy, these are all combinations of different settings. And you have your image dimensions over here, your preferable size, guidance scale, and as you can see here, image to image. But they have relocated it into the image guidance over here. Now, the image to image will be available over here under image guidance. So let me delete the image over here. So what you all need to do is to simply upload that image to get started with the image guidance or the image to image feature. But we will explore that at a later time. We're first going to explore the basic option, which is the prop generator or the text to image. Now, there are two main important sections in the AI image generation aside from the settings. You have, of course, the prop and the model. Leonardo AI has multiple types of model all the new. As you can see here on their platform, there's a lot of old models over here that was used on the earlier versions of Leonardo. But right now, there are a lot of very good models available right now, very powerful models that we could use to play around with. For example, I will be trying out this Leonardo Kino, but there's also basic ones like RPG-5, 3D animation, absolute reality. Now, the newer versions or the newer model will eat up a large sum of your tokens and we only have 150 tokens per day and we need to wait for a single day for it to reset once again. So you have to be careful with your token management. So uh, I'll take back what I said earlier since we're a little low on token, we're just simply going to go with absolute reality 1.6. Although this one is an older model, it's relatively cheaper and it also produced pr pretty decent results either way. So there we go. And now we're simply going to enter a prop. Let me enter a very simple prop. A dog chasing a cat with wings. Now it's both funny and unrealistic. So let's see what kind of creativity the AI of Leonardo will be able to bring us. Now, the great thing about this as well in Leonardo is that you will be able to create or generate multiple images at once. So while this is generating, you could also generate another one. For example, uh, a sheep with golden wool. If that's spell correct spelling, running through the mountain. And generate. I was not able to show you two generations at the same time because this one finished. But as you can see, uh, you can see some output over here. Although it's not the best looking, but uh, with 
better models, you will be able to generate amazing or better results. Although with this one, uh, I, ha I have to say it's a bit disappointed. But this one, it has uh, better results. But as you can see, uh, still a bit far from our wanted output. Now, sometimes our own generation or prompt usage is not that great. And we don't really get the output that we want. And that's the, usually the case for me. But there's features such as this uh, prompt generator, which will generate random prompts for you to try out. Which is, as you can see here, there you go. It will generate really great outputs or really great prompts that you could simply uh, try out, test, and then you could modify different sections of the output. So for example, instead of a sorcerer, you could say a uh, swordsman. As long as you're able to read between the words, you will be able to uh, generate different types of output. So this one is the sorcerer, very great output. And this one is the swordsman. Another thing that I would usually do is I would look through the different images over here and look for a style that I like. For example, this one. And then I would copy their prompt and their negative prompt over here. Now, let's put into practice our image to image. Now. Uh, I explained the text generator first before the image to image because both of them actually works together. Now let us upload an image over here. I have uh, this image over here that I got from Pixabay. It's an image of a dog and this is the output that I want to uh, use as our image to image. Now the way this works is that it will take into account uh, the appearance of the image, the patterns, the overall look and the style and it will be used to guide our image generation there's uh, our strength over here the higher the value the stronger the guided output will be the closer it will be from the original photo and the lower it is the more creative the ai will have so let's actually since uh we're already at the last part of the video or the second part we could now be uh we could now use our uh, tokens more over here. So I would like to use the Leonardo Deficient X and enable prop magic over here. Uh, you cannot use uh, image, image. So there are certain uh, stuff that you cannot use, but there we go. So now simply enter a prop over here. So let me search up a decent style over here. Uh, maybe the, this one. Let's copy this style over here and put it over here and simply click on generate now let's play around the first generation we have 30 strike uh, then let's create one with a middle level and a one with a high level over here the highest level available as you can see you will be able to generate multiple items at once as you can see here and i use the prompt taken from our image over here so hopefully the output will be similar to this one although with this one as you can see uh, it generated something but it's not really close to our pet dog over here but as you can see this one in the middle it was or it generated something exactly the same as an image and that the output we want it did the same thing for this one so uh, clearly that there was something wrong with our output or rather our uh, prompt over here so let's see, let's examine our prompt and uh, let's check it out. There you go, let's copy it again and paste it. And uh, let's fix our strike over here. Sometimes it's a uh, trial and error until you find the correct strike, the correct combination of strike and prompt, and you will be able to get a decent output. So uh, while we're waiting for that, actually, let's try using a uh, different style. Uh, so that we could check out the different output. Uh, let's use this one. And let's put this on our output over here. Enemy style of Dragon Ball or Urban style vector, sorry, and generate. As you can see, this one, it changes a bit, of, but the output is not really that great. It looks uh, very funky and the results were not satisfying. So let's check out this other one if we will be able to create a decent one with this one. Uh, still, it's not the output that we want. So, uh, we're not always going to get the output that we want with this AI generators. Sometimes, that's just what happens. So, uh, it's a long battle of trial and error to get the output that we want. 
There you go. Let's try it with this one. And hopefully with this one, we will be able to get better results. But you understand the concept where it just uses the image as a basis of the output that it will produce. It will use it as much as possible. And uh, it's still over here. Unfortunately, disappointingly, it's not changing. So I'm not sure uh, what we're doing wrong here. So let's maybe try it on uh, the minimum or like the lowest level ever and see the output for this one before we end our video so let's see and let's see the default the results let's wait for this one and there we go although it changed it a lot now so uh, i guess i really uh the prompt might be something we have to work on even more hopefully for you guys when you try it out uh, you will be able to get better results. Actually, uh, I have outputs that I have previously used the image to image feature before, which is this one over here, the Samurai over here. I have gotten great results, but I don't know what happened to our earlier attempts, but it seems to be not working. But anyway, this was results that I have generated before, and this was the original photo over here. And this was the results, as you can see. It works most of the time, but uh, unfortunately on our first attempts, it was not working. Anyway, that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.